Hello and welcome to showmeacademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to manage and change the autocomplete settings in Microsoft Internet Explorer 7. Autocomplete is a function available in the browser that tries to prompt you for past entries that you've put in either into web forms or into the address bar of the browser. The idea is that if you've put entries in before by only typing a few letters in, you can quickly find those entries again, and you don't have to constantly retype the same addresses or the same form fields over and over again. Having said that, uh, if it's turned on, sometimes you might want to turn it off. Uh, you might want to manage the settings, or you might want to turn it on if it's not already. So I'm going to show you here how to, how to do that. First of all, what we're going to do is go to the Tools menu, and from here, I'm going to select Internet Options. Now on the Internet Options window, I'm going to go to the Content tab. It's right here in the middle of the window, and click on that. And you'll see the, the third section from the top is Autocomplete. So from here, I'm going to click on Settings. <clears throat> and when I do this, you'll see that uh, I have a number of different checkboxes available before me that determine whether or not I'm going to use Autocomplete for web addresses, forms, usernames and passwords on forms, and then it asks whether, whether or not I should be prompted to save passwords. First of all, let's look at web addresses. I'm going to cancel out of here, click OK. I haven't made any changes yet. I just want to show you what happens with autocomplete. I'm going to click or type A, and you'll see immediately it starts to show other things that I've put in the past that started with A. And if I had a whole slew of other choices, they would line up here as well. And rather than continuing to type things, I can just choose them from here and go directly to an entry. Autocomplete also works on forms that exist within web pages. So you'll see that here I'm in the Google window. And I'm going to, once again here, well, if I just click, it brings up everything. Instead, I'm going to click or type A. And you'll see it brings up all the searches that I've been doing in Google that begin with the letter A. <clears throat> and if I start to type more, if I said A N, then it starts to show the only entry that matches A N. If I click A U, it again narrows it down to the entries that match that, etc. So going back to Tools, Internet Options, I'm going to look back at the Content tab, and I'm going to click on Settings under Autocomplete. And from here, first of all, I'm going to uncheck web addresses. So when I do that, I click OK, and I click OK again to get out of here. And now when I go up here, you'll notice that as I'm typing, it doesn't put any suggestions. Even though I know I've gone to Abe Books, it's not going to suggest that for me because I've turned that feature off. Now, I still have the feature here <clears throat> on the forms that exist within web pages. So if I click here, it still shows me those search items that I've put into the Google search bar or search page. So if I go back to Tools, Internet Options, and click on the Content tab and Autocomplete Settings, I'm going to this time uncheck Forms. When I do that, I click OK and OK again. Now, I've noticed that when I do this here, it's still, oh, I guess it is turned it off. <clears throat> so you'll see now it's no longer suggesting items that I put into this form on Google. <clears throat> now that data, even though I turned off that value that or that option, that data is not lost. The data is still resident within the browser and I can get it back if I want to by turning the options back on again. So if I go to the content tab, autocomplete settings, turn these back on. I'll click OK and OK. Now when I go up here, once again, it suggests the items that I have previously typed in at some previous session. Same thing here when I go to the form, <clears throat> you'll see it gives me the option to select again any number of different form entries that I've entered on this page in the past. Now suppose you really want to just nuke that data. You don't want anyone going in and seeing the searches that you've done in Google. 
Maybe you don't want anyone going in and seeing the items that you've typed into the address bar. Well, you can completely get rid of that data as well. That's a little different. We're going to go to Tools, Internet Options, and from here, instead of going to the Content tab, I'm going to stay on the General tab, and I'm going to look under Browsing History, and I'm going to click the Delete button. Now, you see this Delete button comes up with a number of different options, and the two options at the bottom are the ones that we're concerned with right now. There's Form Data, and there's also Passwords. Form data is all that form data that we've entered into the various pages on the web before. For example, the search page on Google. So if I were to click here now, if I click delete forms, it'll prompt me to make sure that I'm, if, I'm sure I really want to do this. And I'll say no, because I don't. <laughs> but I'm just showing you what happens here if you, if you were to click it. Uh, and if I were to do that and follow through with it, then when I typed in the search bar, uh, in the search field, excuse me, in Google, it would no longer give me the options for those things that I put in the past. Now, maybe you don't want to delete all the form data, but you just want to delete the usernames and the passwords that you've saved because you've probably noticed that when you're putting in a username and a password to access a restricted area on the web, Microsoft Internet Explorer will give you the option to save that data as well. Maybe you don't want to lose all your form data, but you just want to get rid of all those passwords that you've saved. Well, this would be the place that you do it right here. You click Delete Passwords, and notice once again, it prompts me to make sure that I'm sure that I really want to do this. And again, I'll click No, because I actually want to keep this information in my browser for now. But I do have the option to wipe that data out if I so choose. And I will close out of here. <clears throat> Hit OK. And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.